Hello friends and welcome to another video. I am so ready for this one. I'm wearing my Hogwarts hoodie which I bought at the platform 9 and 3 quarter shop and I just received one of my favorite Harry Potter boxes at the moment. Colin Crate. For those of you who do not know them, Colin Crate is a bi-monthly chest from the UK and they base their boxes around the years at Hogwarts. So this is the fifth box, the fifth year, the chest of the Phoenix, which is of course based on Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Each box contains eight or more items and the majority of the items are handcrafted, which I think is really cool. So I am ready to unbox the magic. If you like these kind of magical unboxings, then don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Enough talking, let's get unboxing. on Instagram and I noticed that she gave a hint so it is this one <laughs> a handmade usable item from our favorite witch you guys <laughs> I am excited to see what this item is I also added three more items from past boxes I think it was year two and year three which I thought were really awesome items and I guess she put them in my chest of the phoenix okay let's just start I'm gonna give you a sneak peek first Ooh, okay I can see there's a letter on top and it says Leander Brooks 12 Grimmel please <laughs> that is super cute okay <clears throat> I don't think this is a spoiler card right I'm just gonna open it there's a letter and something else inside I'm gonna grab this letter first oh my gosh <laughs> I'm getting way too excited already Oh, okay, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> uh, dear Leander Brooks, in light of your excellent academic and extracurricular performance in your first four years of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, that sounds like me, I'm a Ravenclaw, so... <laughs> I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen to become a prefect of Ravenclaw House. Ravenclaw students are renowned for their intelligence and wisdom. I hope that you continue to display these qualities as an excellent role model for your peers. I also expect you to support your fellow students in their mission to excel at all they do. Please report to the Prefect Carriot at 11 a.m. on September 1st for an introduction to your new position. Yours sincerely, Phileas Flitwick, Head of Ravenclaw House. Okay. <laughs> this is so awesome. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting so excited over this because it's not real, but <laughs> it feels real. And I think there is a prefect badge in the envelope. Oh my gosh, yes. That is beautiful. The pin has the house colors of Ravenclaw, an eagle in the middle, and a P for prefect. This is such a great start to the box. I mean, this is why it is one of my favorite Harry Potter subscription boxes at the moment. I always knew I had it in me to become a prefect. Okay, so that was on top of the tissue paper. So now we're just gonna remove the tissue paper. And I think the spoiler card is on top. Yes, so we're gonna put that aside and I'm just gonna grab the first item that I see, which I think is one of the items that I added from Calden Crate Shop. I mean, look at the way that this is wrapped. <laughs> okay, let's see. So there is a light blue envelope and a golden seal with a G on there. Let's open that. So this is indeed the item that I bought in the shop, so this is not part of the chest of the phoenix, but it is fan mail from Kilroy Lockhart, um, and it is three pages of him probably going on about himself, and it is signed with yours magically, Gilroy Lockhart, and it came with this bigger envelope, which contains <laughs> a portrait of Gilroy Lockhart. I have here a little green paper bag. Let's see what is inside. 
Oh, this is another item that I bought in the shop. So again, this is not from the chest of the Phoenix. Um, and it is from the chest of Azkaban. It is a beautiful pin. And on there, you can see that it says Mischief Managed. And it has the four prints of the Marauders. Next up is a brown envelope. And inside is, I think, a potion. But first we have a little note which says, good luck in your owls. Here's a little something to help calm the nerves. So we have a draught of peace. <laughs> and I think this is some kind of oil. Oh, right. Chamomile essential oil, rub on wrist to calm anxiety and soothe stress. Yeah, we can use a little bit of soothing and peace time before the owl exams because they are stressful. So I think this is a cute touch to put inside the box. Next up, we have a coffee mug which says, give her hell from us peace. Which is of course meant for Dolores Umbridge when Peep sets up the fireworks. <laughs> I love the color, so the orange and the purple, and it is a good quality coffee mug. Next up is a little blue pouch with stickers in there, and I believe this is something she um, puts in every chest. So let's see what stickers we have we have the hogwarts crest a ministry of magic sticker a coin from dumbledore's army a little book pile with a golden snitch and a hogwarts scarf it is a hufflepuff scarf so i'm not sure if i'm going to use this but it is really cute and the last sticker is this really adorable <laughs> gryffindor girl which is again, not my house, but it is a really beautiful sticker. Next item is something with a proclamation on there. It says, educational decree number 112, all students must now use ministry issued soap. <laughs> Non-compliance will result in expulsion. Okay. <laughs> So there is the proclamation and then at the back it says it is citronella scented soap and it lists the ingredients right here. Okay, <laughs> let's see the design. So this is a paw print from a cat and this is of course a little cat. <laughs> okay, so from now on we have to use these citronella soaps. <laughs> They smell really nice and I love the thought behind this. <laughs> Another green paper bag. Let's see. It appears to be a little bottle. Barufio's Braid Elixir. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, this looks creepy. Here we have a little bottle, which is Barufio's Brain Elixir. And it is a black liquid with a little bit of grayish white inside. I had to take a look at the spoiler sheet because I had no idea what this was from, but I think some of you may have known this. Um, Harry and Ron were much tempted by the bottle of Barufia's brain elixir offered to them by Ravenclaw's sixth year, Eddie Carmichael, who swore it was solely responsible for the nine outstanding owls he had gained the previous summer and was offering a whole pint for a mere 12 galleons. I honestly forgot about Barufia's brain elixir. I mean, it's like one or two sentences in the Order of the Phoenix, but yeah, see, you thought of it, and I think that is just wonderful. And <laughs> this is a really great item to have in my potion collection. Obviously, this is not meant for human consumption, it is just something you can add to your shelf. Next up is something really long, and it kind of makes me think of a wand. Let's find out. It is! It is Luna Love 
what swans. <laughs> Look at that. I think she made this herself. So first of all, I love that she went through the trouble of making a wand replica, but I have to say I'm not the biggest fan. There is a little bit of damage on the wand, the color is a bit off, and you can see that it is handmade and painted. So yeah, not my favorite item of this box. But I do appreciate the thought because Luna Lovegood is a big part of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, but I think this item could have been better. There is another green paper bag in the chest of the phoenix. And I think this is a candle. Madame Puttyfoot's Valentine's Brew. And it says it's a candle with a strawberry, raspberry, blueberry scent. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. That's a really nice smell. And on the inside, you can see that there are little petals. Okay, I'm not really getting the reference, so I have to take a look at the spoiler sheet. Madame Puttyfoot's Valentine's Brew. Oh, there's a really nice place just up here. Haven't you ever been to Madame Puttyfoot's? Really, if the awkward first date of Harry and Cho with this fruity soya wax candle. If you knew Madame Puttyfoots and you remembered it from that one sentence, then please leave me a comment down below because then you are a true, true Harry Potter fan. I think we are down to the lost item. And that means that she forgot my third item, which I purchased in the shop. Let me explain that real quick. So as I said in the beginning, I ordered three items from her shop and those were the Gilroy Lockhart Fan Mail, the Marauder Pin and another candle, which was the Sweet Shop candle from Honeydukes, I think. Uh, but it isn't in this box. So I guess she forgot about that item or maybe it's being sent separately. I don't know, I am gonna email Color Create and find out, but just let you know because I said I ordered another three items and you only saw two, so the third item was a Sweet Shop Honeydukes candle. And now onto the last item of this box. It is a paper replica. It is a letter from the Ministry of Magic. A confidential letter and another gold wax seal okay dear mr potter we have received intelligence that you performed the patronus term at 23 minutes past nine this evening in a muggle inhabited area and in the presence of a muggle severity of this breach of the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery has resulted in your expulsion from hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry ministry representatives will be calling at your place of residence shortly to destroy your wands as you have already received an official warning for a previous offense under section 13 of the international confederation of warlock statute of secrecy we regret to inform you that your presence is required at a disciplinary hearing at the Ministry of Magic at 9 a.m. on the 12th of August. Hoping you are well, yours sincerely, Mafalda Hupkirk, in proper use of Magic Office. That is a very, very well done paper replica of the Ministry of Magic. Those are all the items in the chest of the Phoenix from Color Create. I am going to give you guys a close up of this border sheet so you can just pause the screen and read about the items that we got. So we had a total of 10 items in the chest of the Phoenix. My favorite item. I kind of have three favorite items. I don't know if that's all right with you guys, but I am a sucker for paper replicas and I really love the prefect letter. I have been chosen to be a prefect for the Ravenclaw house and then the matching prefect pin badge. And then I also really like the Borofius brain elixir because that is such a small thing in the book and she made an item out of that. I think that is so original. So this is a, another favorite item of mine from the chest of the Phoenix. Definitely trying to get my hands on the next uh, chests. 
which is going to be based on year six and I think it is called the chests of the half-blood prince and again it is a limited box so I think you can put your orders in around May and I'm really interested to see uh, which items come in the next box. Another year, another chest. I hope you guys like my unboxing of the Chest of the Phoenix from Colin Crate. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch.